welcome to Safe Bros. Hey, what's going on friends? Welcome to the St. Rose channel if you're new and today we're playing Knockout City, man. This game not too long ago released and I'm having a blast on this game and I gathered a couple of tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys, man. Now, this is not no pros tips or beginner's guide or beginner's tips. This is simply information and tricks or tips that I've gathered. Um, within a few hours of me playing the game I'm a couple hours deep and I just want to share it with you guys man so with that being said let's hop into it first tip I got for you guys is to always pass the ball even if you're not playing with friends or whatever you're playing with randoms try to pass the ball because that way the ball gets fully charged so the first person that you swing at they're gonna get a fully charged ball to their face Next one is you can actually roll under objects. There's a lot of stuff that hovers in this game. So as you can see, you can just turn into a ball and roll under it. Uh, with the cars, it works from the front and the back. It also works with other stuff, like basically anything that hovers over the ground and you can fit underneath it as a ball, it works. As you can see, I'm rolling under this thing right here and this guy can't catch me, man, it's crazy. So this could come in real useful or handy for different scenarios. You guys could mess around with that. Let me know in the um, comment section down below if you know any other maps with cool stuff like this that you can roll underneath, man. Share that with uh, everyone down in the comment section. All right, this one is pretty handy as well. You know when you start off a match, there's always this team that likes to start off with a massive bomb at the beginning? Well, if it's possible, let them go first, wait to see where it lands, and then throw your teammate afterwards as a bomb. That way, you can catch them before they move because there's a delay after they hit the ground. And you could get maybe a point or two off of that, man. All right, this one is pretty handy to know if it's not obvious already, but you can catch balls while you're gliding. You wouldn't imagine how much people that I knocked out while they were gliding. They made no effort to catch the ball whatsoever. They just took the balls to the face. Pause. <laughs> so now you know that. Uh, if you guys made it this far into the video, and if there was at least one thing that I brought to your attention that you didn't know already and that you found maybe helpful, go ahead and drop a like for your boy, man. That will help out the channel a lot and help others to see this video um, and inform them about these tips and tricks. Now let's hop into the rest of them. All right, this situation or this scenario, you guys know all too well. You know when the enemy got the drop on you and you ain't got no ball? Well, all you gotta do is shove them push them and then jump up and you got the ball that's all you got to do i see people running around running backwards can't find the ball after they push them all you got to do is push them jump and the ball is right there um it's that easy all right this is the last tip for you guys if you manage to catch an enemy with a cage ball throw that sucker right back at his teammates that's going to be an instant ko so no two hits just one hit ko same with your teammates if teammates a ball toss that sucker at the enemy hopefully you get him and it's a knockout all right that's everything that i got for you guys in this video man let me know in the comment section down below if you found anything useful or helpful in this video and also drop in the comment section some of your personal tips and tricks that you want to share with anyone else watching um, and that wraps up the video. I didn't want to make it too long for no reason unnecessarily, you know, just want to get straight to the point and hop back out. So until next time, guys, bless up. See, I'm just waiting on my blessings.